Child development is something that parents should prioritize, and if you start to notice that your child has a developmental delay, it may be a sign of various diseases. But don't worry, Pediatric Neuroscience and Rehabilitation Center at Vegetani Hospital offers the most comprehensive rehabilitation center for children. What is the difference between a rehabilitation program for children and adults? For adults, we can instruct them how many times and how many sets of therapies they should do. But for children, it doesn't work that way. If children can feel that every time they are coming to the hospital, they come here to play, they will be eager to come. The results of the treatment will be faster. This room is called the adventure room. Everything here looks like a toy, but they are all made up of medical grade. This room is designed to train children's gross motor development, such as standing, walking, and balancing. When they haven't started to walk or stand or walk abnormally, most of them have developmental delays. The doctor will choose the equipment based on the muscle they want to focus on developing. For example, the bar here is used when we need to train the core and arm muscles. The child will be holding up the bar, then slide down to the balls. Holding on to this bar requires balancing. Children who have sitting difficulties and problems with balance when standing or walking would visit this room. The play mat here is not a regular play mat. It is a space we have designed to protect children from falls and bumps, to ensure absolute safety during the training. Also, there is no toxic chemicals used here. Everything is made of medical grade material. This is the Snowslin room. It is a simulated environment, we call it a multi-sensory environment. In another word, it creates a simulating atmosphere that can stimulate the sensory nerves of children, whether it is vision, touch, smells or vibration. The kids will feel tingling sensations on their soles when they step on the floor here. They will figure out that when they step on it, the floor will light up. They would find it fun and want to step on it more. This is great for balance training or for some children who have problems with being highly sensitive. These strings are simulation of rain curtain. Its primary purpose is for the kids to get inside. There will be light here. The bed here is not a hard bed. It's a bed with the right level of softness. This right here is not a fish tank. It is used to stimulate sensations and sense of vibration. Whether they are children with cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome, or other congenital disorders, some of them will have senses that are neither too sensitive nor too slow. Light stimulates vision and tricks children into touching them. Children with autism and ADHD could come off aggressive sometimes. So the sound of music is used to calm them before they could continue the training. When you press the buttons on this bar here, a scent is released. This stimulates the senses of smell. This is for kids to understand that when they press the buttons, a scent will be released. Each color has different scents. This room is for kids to experience all sensory motors, touch, smell, and sight. We call this room as the interactive playground. The projector will display the image on the floor. There are various games that we can train multiple skills, including movement and concentration. It requires focus on the game as it instructs the kids to do the next step. So they will have to concentrate. This also helps with calculation skills. Aside from movement of the core and hand muscles, the kids need high concentration while playing this. This game is ideal for those who have short attention spans. Training like this will encourage children to come back here for more. If children are trained with the same old school method, they will be demotivated for training and wouldn't want to come back for next sessions. Pediatric Neuroscience and Rehabilitation Center takes care of children with cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder or ADHD, and developmental delay. The training duration is evaluated and planned together with the medical team, practitioners, and parents to achieve the same goal. So the training time will vary from child to child as there are various problems. For sure, if you visit a center that has advanced technology, like the Snowslin room, the use of robots, and a training team that understands children, the time spent is definitely shorter than regular training. No matter how long or slow the training is, if it can help the children get back to standing and walking, socializing, and going to school, there's no such thing as too long.